Hello everybody, welcome back to Auto Our Battle, Paradox Gamer playing, and we are still transferring units from the left to the center. The center right. In order to take Belenkino and move further north from there. We are almost halfway through the scenario, so we do have to speed it up. Um, right, let's uh, let's not spend any points on getting the uh, fighters up to speed. Now this one is nine, Th these two are also nine. So one of them is six. Um, I think we're gonna have to spend my points on other things. So we'll just get the airborne as they are. Land Stukas, maybe just land two here and land one up there. Land two down there and then land the other up here. We can land the fighters too. This one doesn't have to land. We just use it to scout around a little bit. Come up here. Ooh, what's that? Get a little closer. Wouldn't you know? So we did have the uh, tank battle of Prokhorovka coming in. Let's see what well, we have: the T thirty four, T thirty four, KV one, T thirty four. Better model. Su one five two, KV two. Oh, there's an AA gun there. The T sixty. Okay, that's interesting. I have to scout around to see if they're coming from multiple directions. Okay, but first we have to deal with the um, current situation. I think we'll leave the T-34 for this turn. See if we can get it disorganized. We cannot. The tiger will attack the uh, steward. No, it won't. At least not until I target that AT gun a little bit. There we go. But it only takes it down to three. And the KV can't reach over there. Hmm, how do we do this? We have this one. This is primarily this is a Panzer 3 and it's, it's very good against infantry, but not so much against um, the tanks. But at least it can take the Valentine down a little bit, so I think we'll use it for that purpose. Bring it around here. Take one off the Valentine. I think I want to prioritize taking uh, the Soviet infantry out completely here. Then I can either hit the Valentine or go up and hit the Lee. I think I'll do the former. No, the latter. That takes it down to one. And then the engineers can come up and finish it off. And then the Stuk will try and regain some organization. And we'll just get it back to full strength for the most of my points. We do have a lot of units coming up from over here. I need the artillery a little bit closer so we'll bring out these guys to here go there this one will just stay I guess should I make sure I get the airfield do I need it we have this one 
I guess that, that will work fine. I don't need that out field. Um, now these guys... will come around like this and attack the AA gun. And again. It runs out to that position. We can come out of the woods. Bring up these guys. So the KV will probably be better off going back to 9. And then we have this one. We'll come up here. Right, so all of the other units come in through down here. We want to take out this bunker to clear the road and to get that secondary, although I don't really need the secondary. Uh, let's come up here with the SS. The armored car will go there. The artillery will move up this way. Prioritize getting the Panthers as far as possible. the infantry. Now we have more infantry over here. I think those were all of them. This one here is not really doing anything. Neither is that one. So that will be turn 15, Soviet. We have an artillery piece firing on my SS in the west and firing on my um, engineers in the center. The steward comes back around behind the Valentine and the Valentine moves out in the open. And the AT gun moves down and maybe, yeah, it takes a shot at the SU. What about the T-34? T-34 does nothing. So turn 16, just close to the halfway mark. Let's start hitting that. Ah, mines. Okay, get these guys out of the way. We'll leave the bunker for some of the uh, slower artillery units. The others will head up north, including the artillery, the Marder, and all the Panzers. those with everybody so I'm gonna get some losses from that bunker unfortunately but that's uh, that's just how it is uh, we have the planes down here will come up the Stukas and this uh, we have fighters here come up they can't do anything over here so let's just And hit that one. Land the Stuka. That's it for the AT gun. Alright. Now, here. Um, so the Valentine is still there. The Stuk will be the best against the Valentine. And this will be best against the Engineers. So, 
they have to change places. Or I could just focus on the steward first. Take it out. And then we'll bring the stoop down to the Valentine. And we might be able to take it out with the infantry over here. Still, uh, still up, but down to one strength and also surrounded. So we'll leave that there for now and focus on the T-34 over here. Fire the artillery. And I think we will force this artillery to take a sh more, one more shot. Then these guys will take out the AA gun because it's in the way. Then we'll send the Tiger up to take a shot on the T-34. Very nice shot. And then the KV will come up. Infantry. And infantry. I don't know when these guys will be activated, but taking this town could be uh, could be it. So I'm not going to do it. All I want to do is get my guys in positions. This one can cross on the other side. Uh, we have the heavies that will come up here and replenish. This one will just stay in place and replenish. And that should leave just uh, the planes. Let's uh, let's move around to here. Ooh, they have more. Oh my goodness. Another four T-34s, SU-152 and a KV-1. Wow. Let's bring this one over here. There's one more there. I seriously need all my armor up there, so hopefully I haven't activated those guys yet. If I have, I might want to pull back a little bit. I'll still work towards getting this town and the bunker down here. Yeah, these guys will move out of the way from the uh, enemy artillery and replenish. Soviet turn 16 and we're halfway through the scenario. Artillery in the west fires and the bunker will also fire, so these guys, the ESS are down to six. The Valentine moves back up and does nothing. Uh, the engineers move out of Luchi town into the river, which was kind of a strange move. And now he, here we go, Clash of Steel. Intercepted radio messages indicate that the enemy is amassing armored forces near Prokhorovka. This poses a major threat on our right flank and must be eliminated. And objectives have, objectives have changed. Okay, so we have to defeat the Soviet armor at Prokhorovka. To win the battle of Prokhorovka against the Soviet armor reserve, at least 15 tanks or other mechanized units must be destroyed. And that means we no longer have to go to Oboyan. So the time pressure suddenly is off. And we simply just uh, have to destroy the enemy tanks, but they will probably come now, uh, in in their turn. So I need to finish off the enemy elements over here and get ready for the Soviets uh, counterattacking. Um, so how do we do that? Uh, we have to move these guys out of the way. Replenish and oh, these guys can upgrade. 
What about the others? This one can. Still one to go that can upgrade. Um, we're gonna send these guys up here. Deal with a bunker. The artillery will come as far up as possible, which is uh, here. Bring the mother up. And the panzers. Yeah, my car. This one. We do have an armored car here, which we, we can use to try and take... No, I think we'll just leave that for the Stuk. So that's gone. Get the Stuker up, and the other two Stukers will move up to here. The Stukas will play a key part in this battle. Okay, so let's see, how do we do this? I'll move these guys around to the other side, takes a shot. Then we'll move these guys in, take a shot, and they will be forced onto the other side. And then the Panzer III will finish the job. Bring up the armored car. These guys will move around and replenish. Alright, so we're going to make a defensive line over here. I want to get this one onto the other side, but apparently that's not possible. I have to go through the woods, or uh, I mean through the uh, river. So that's a little annoying. Should have gone the other side around. And this one will come back. So where do we make a line? Could make a line back here. Uh, I still don't know if they're gonna come at me. So perhaps I should just stay in my positions right here for now. <coughs> well, these guys will fall back, obviously. Connect up here. And then we have the fighters. Let's get some more vision down here. And up here. That is a lot of enemy tanks. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, plus some more. So we have to destroy most of them. KV will go to full strength. I'm just gonna flip through these. Yeah, we still have these guys down here. So bring this one up there. These guys will just move past. Move past. Come up there. Tiger will stay. This one will stay. The fighters. What are they gonna do? Okay, let's just keep them up here. There could be enemy planes coming at us as well. Alright, I think that's it for Soviet turn 17. Artillery in the west takes another shot. The bunker takes another shot. 
And let's see if the armor moves. <clears throat> well, the AA gun moves. And that's it. So they're not coming at me. Good to know. Let's keep some, di some distance to that AA gun. Just bring it all the way up here. And we'll keep scouting the area. Right, that means we have time to bring up our armor and the rest of the artillery positions. There. There. Panzer three will not be that necessary, but the uh, Stuk will. Let's bring these guys up here. Bring the Stuk around that way. And the Mada. This one is just in the way, so get it over there. Oh, I think we'll take the northern route here, that's probably faster. Get the Stugas up here. And here. Bunker Busters, we have knocked out most of the enemy fortifications guarding the southern sector of the Kursk Salient. Additional units can now be deployed to support the advance to Obayan. Yeah, so we just get more operation, uh, command points, sorry. Not really worth anything. So these guys will take some more losses from the artillery piece, but other than that, we should be uh, safe on that flank. So it's just about up here. But since they're not moving towards me, uh, I could probably go up, up and take Bellichino then. What do they have in there? There's one guy in there. And we know there's, uh, there's an artillery piece over here. I think that will be it. Just checking, so the artillery is not moving. I probably have to go further north, so we might as well start moving them up. Uh, where's the last artillery? It, it has just arrived. We get this one up here. And this one can go here. Actually take a shot up there. I could also try and take the town and see if that activates the Soviets. Might be the case. The fighters will stay put for now. Also, this one has already moved. So Soviet turn 18. Probably not a lot going on. Unless they start moving towards me, then a lot will be going on. Nothing. Okay, so let's put a break in here. I'll probably finish the scenario in the next episode. I'll see you there. Bye-bye.